Hello everybody, my name is Fahim Mahak and I would like to welcome you all back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about St. Ives Acne Control Apricot Scrub. So I'm actually not here to try out the product or give you a review about it, rather I have used it already and I'm here to tell you today why you should not be using this product. So if you want to find out why I'm not suggesting this specific product, then keep on watching the video. I'll tell you about the features of this product now. It says from America's number one scrub brand. This scrub with 100% natural walnut shell powder. Remember that. Powder deeply cleanses pores and helps stop breakouts for balanced and radiant skin. And it says it's a paraben free, dermatologist tested, oil free and, and it's non comedogenic that means it will not clog the pores. So the other day I actually went to Lulu and I wanted to try out a new product and especially an exfoliator or a facial scrub and that would be great if that is actually for my ignis. And I chose this product and I have posted a story on my Instagram stating that I have recently bought this product and I'm gonna try this out and one of my followers has actually sent me a DM saying how harsh this product can be for your skin and I've also mentioned her that uh, maybe it might work really good on my skin and so I would like to give this product a try and I read all the reviews from the internet if this product is good or bad and the reviews that I've received, those were neutral. Some people say that they have been using this product since quite a long time, maybe a year or two, and it was really nice to their skin. And on the other side, most of the reviews that I have seen on the internet, it was against this product. Most important reason is the walnut shell powder. First of all, walnut powder can never go gentle on your skin if you have an acne prone skin. Let us focus on the exfoliation factor now. When you are going to buy a product for your acne prone skin or as a treatment for your acne, then you must make sure that it's very, very, very gentle on your skin. And here it clearly mentions that it exfoliates deep and not moderate, not gentle, it's deep. When your facial scrub says it contains walnut shell powder, this is something you definitely must avoid because it's going to be very rough on your skin and your skin definitely don't want to be tortured like that it's more like you're exfoliating your face using sand powder so that's really 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 harsh on your skin it actually causes micro tears on your skin so that means those tears are actually not going to be visible on your skin but still you're going to feel some irritation on your skin while you're applying or while you remove the scrub that means on future days even those acnes when they leave by still there's a high chance from getting more acnes from the micro tears that were caused by this specific product and most importantly rather the funniest part about this product is it says apricot scrub and apricot was something that was least used in this product there is so many chemicals and a lot of things and apricot is least used in the product so first day when i got this product and actually tried it on my face i was shocked i was shocked actually by how well this product was actually treating my skin because it was really nice it made my skin really smooth and i was thinking about that specific dm that i've received if a product goes well with my skin then it might not go really good with some other person's skin and if another person's product is actually going good with that skin it might not work good on my skin because at the end of the day our skin is different as well as our hormones are really different from everybody else so counting that on my mind i have actually continued using the product and it's been i think the first week since i have used the product i was amazed by how well it turned on my skin actually i mean it left my skin really smooth but yes it was really 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 harsh on my skin compared to the scrubs that i've used before so it was when i was using the exfoliator i was actually feeling that little pain on my face because that's not how a facial scrub is supposed to be more importantly, it's more like you can use this product really good on your feet as a food scrub and not as your facial scrub because it's very harsh on your skin as it contains a walnut shell powder as I've mentioned before. Still, I have continued using the product because I thought maybe it might be a really good product for my skin. Maybe it did not work good with other people. It might work good on me. So I've continued using this product and it's been almost a week or over a week now I'm using this and today morning after I woke up I have seen something very wrong with my skin because yesterday night when I was scrubbing my face with the exfoliator I was actually 
quite close with my eye area always remember starting from here up to here your skin is very thin your eye area skin is really thin so whatever product might go okay on your cheek area or the forehead area it's fine you should be very careful when you're selecting products for your eye area because that skin is really soft and it's really thin and it's very sensitive so accidentally i think i have actually went through this line of my eye area and i was feeling that sensitivity that irritation or I could feel that micro tears under my eyes but I ignored it I just put some ice cubes and I sort of ignored it and the next morning today when I woke up this is the condition of my eyes as you can see these small red bumps under my eyes and they are very much visible because they are very red and they're just still new and it looks like you have cried the whole night as you could see in the video i have actually got some small red bumps under my eye areas here and here and even right now when i have put my makeup still the bumps are slightly visible because that's one thing is i did not apply a full coverage foundation and secondly I could still, you know that 3D effect of the skin, it's still available. You, people could still consider that you might have had a depressing night where you have cried the whole night or you did not sleep the whole night for which you have some under eye bumps but it was actually caused because of the scrub. I have actually used this product as my foot scrub and trust me it really went good working as a foot scrub for my feet. And if something goes good as a foot scrub on your feet and you must avoid that product on your face because your foot and your face is a whole different skin type you should not mismatch those so the whole point is if you're actually using this product from quite a long time and you believe that this product is actually not gonna cause any harm to your skin even in the future or even in the meantime then I think you're absolutely wrong because just because you don't have any skin problem or irritation right now does not mean that you will not get any problem from this specific product in the future because the micro tears are actually going to react on your skin and those specific micro tears that you get from the walnut shell powder is actually gonna create more acneous for you in the future so it's gonna make your skin even worse and actually cause more acneous and that's definitely not something that you want from an acne treatment product I don't know if I have actually given you guys the right review about this specific product or if I have explained myself or my opinion or my point of view in a proper way but this is what I have to say and this is a product that I would not recommend using and I would definitely not recommend to any of you for using this and if you're buying a specific product as a foot scrub then trust me you may because it works great for your foot I still have the whole tube left so I'm not gonna let it go waste I'm gonna use it as my foot scrub yeah so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video and please make sure you do not buy this product. And also please follow me both on my Instagram and Snapchat as FahimaHQ and also follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. If you like this video then please give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel right here and hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you can be the first person to know before anybody else. Once again thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye!